टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट सो जनरली हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर प्लांट इज क्लासिफाइड इन थ्री डिफरेंट कैटेगरी फर्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ हेड अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वान्टिटी ऑफ वॉटर अवेलेबल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू नेचर ऑफ लोड सो लेट सी फर्स्ट वन इट इज फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन थ्री डिफरेंट कैटेगरी लो हेड मीडियम हेड एंड हाई हेड फॉर लो हेड द अवेलेबल हेड इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी मीटर फॉर मीडियम हेड इट इज ट्वेंटी मीटर टू थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर एंड फॉर हाई हेड इट इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ वॉटर अवेलेबल इट इज फर्दर क्लासिफाइड एज रन ऑफ रिवर प्लांट विदाउट पॉन्डेज रन ऑफ रिवर प्लांट विथ पॉन्डेज स्टोरेज टाइप पम्प स्टोरेज टाइप मिनी एंड माइक्रो हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट अकॉर्डिंग टू नेचर ऑफ लोड इट इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरी बेस लोड प्लांट एंड पिक लोड प्लांट सो नाउ लेट सी वन बाय वन ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ द हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट ब्रीफली सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ हेड सो हियर यू कैन सी अकॉर्डिंग टू द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ हेड इट इज क्लासिफाइड इन थ्री डिफरेंट कैटेगरी Now let's see the picture for comparison of these three different types of the hydro power plant according to the availability of head. So here you can see this is the head race level and this is the tail race level, and the difference between these two level is called as the head, and this is the less than twenty meter for the low head power plant. Here you can see the head is up to three hundred meter for the medium head. and here you can see the head is more than 300 meter so first of all the amount of power and therefore energy that you can generate is proportional to the head and the flow or you can say discharge so now let's see the first one low head power plant that means up to 20 meter so here you can see this is the head race level and this is the tail race level and the difference between these two level is 2.5 meter that is less than 20 meter and that's why it is called as the low head power plant so head is the change in water levels between the hydro intake and the hydro discharge point it is a vertical height measured in meter here you can see francis kaplan or propeller turbines are used for this type of hydroelectric power plant conventional turbines operating in this range are not cost effective high efficiency coupling turbines requires high flow volume at low head differences as a result these turbines have large diameter and require considerable civil works these applications do not need to dam or retain water to create hydraulic head that you can see over here the head is only a few meters so dam is not required to construct now next one medium head plant so here you can see the figure of the medium head power plant the head is 30 meter to 300 meter uses francis turbine or modern francis turbine power capacity is 25 megawatt to 100 megawatt in medium head power plant four bay provided at the beginning of the pan stock here you can see as reservoir water is carried in open canal here you can see from main reservoir to four bay then to power house through this pan stock next high head power plant so for the high head power plant the head is more than 300 meter pelton wheel turbine is used so here you can see this is the power house and if you zoom it then you can see inside the power house there is a pelton wheel next power capacity is more than 100 megawatt a dam is constructed such level that maximum water level is formed here you can see the dam is constructed and so that maximum water level is formed a pressure tunnel is constructed that you can see over here 
which is connected to this wall house water is coming from reservoir to this wall house via this pressure tunnel and then through the pan stock it will go to the power house now next according to the quantity of water available first one is the runoff river plant without pondage so here you can see there is no any pondage and that's why it is called as runoff river plant without pondage where the runoff river is used to generate the electricity when a river flowing through a hilly region here you can see the flowing water is directly fed to the turbines the water is not being stored and that's why it is called as without pondage it doesn't store water it uses water as it comes it uses water only when available generating capacity primarily depending on the rate of flow of water second one runoff river plant with pondage and here you can see in this figure this is the pondage so a little bit construction that is carried out and so that the water is stored in the pondage and that's why it is called as the runoff river plant with pondage the reservoir allows to store water during off peak hour and uses during peak hours of the same day most runoff river plants will have a dam across the full width of the river in order to utilize all the river's water for electricity generation such installations will have a small reservoir behind the dam here you can see but since flooding is minimal they can be considered as runoff river usefulness of a runoff river plant is increased by pondage and that's why it is more useful than a plant without pondage next storage type so here you can see the big dam is constructed across the river and here you can see the huge dimension of this dam if you compare with this vehicle and this one is the baglihar hydroelectric power project in jammu and kashmir india where the total power capacity is 900 megawatt the water is stored during rainy season and supply during dry season most hydroelectric power plant in the world is storage type power plant in this type of plant water is stored behind the dam and water is available throughout the year even in dry season this type of power plant is very efficient and it is used both base and peak load period as per the requirement now next one pump storage plant so here you can see this unit is alternatively used as a turbine and pump water after passing through the turbine is pumped back from the tail race to the head race during off peak period it works like a battery storing the electricity generated by other power sources like solar wind and nuclear for later use that means in this plant energy is stored by using solar wind and nuclear energy and this electrical energy is used by pumping water from lower reservoir to upper reservoir by pump in short when the demand for electricity is low a pump storage facility stores energy by pumping water from lower to upper reservoir lower to upper reservoir when electricity demand is low during periods of high electrical demand the water is released back from upper reservoir to lower reservoir for generating electricity by this turbine next mini and micro hydro power plant so here you can see mini and micro hydro power plant in mini plant head is up to 20 meter whereas in micro plant head is up to 5 meter a micro hydro power plant has a capacity of up to 100 kilowatts 
a mini or micro hydro power plant can produce enough electricity for a home farm or village mini hydro power plants having capacity 100 kilowatt to 2 megawatt whereas in case of micro hydro power plant the capacity is from 10 kilowatt to 100 kilowatt now next last classification according to the nature of load first one is the base load plant so here you can see this one is the base load in this figure a base load power plant is a power station that usually provides a continuous supply of electricity throughout the year with some minimum power generation requirements so here you can see it is continuous supply base load power plants will only be turned off during periodic maintenance upgrading overall or service such load is on base portion of the load curve so here you can see this is the load curve and the base of this load curve is called as the base load in this type plants load is almost constant load factor is high runoff river plants without pondage and reservoir plants are used as base load plants now the last one peak load plant so here with yellow dots you can see peak load plant it generates power during peak load hours only peak load is a daily fluctuation of electricity use it is usually lowest in early morning and highest in the early evening peak load plants are used to supply peak load of the system corresponding to the load at top portion of the load curve runoff river plants with pondage can be employed as peak load plants if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video